We've got to thank the village because this is really exciting for us. We will use this money um, to expand on what we're already doing at the Olivia Newton-John Cancer Research Institute. So we're taking samples that are generously donated from patients with cancer, and in our case specifically breast cancer, and we're looking to see why specific treatments stop working in those patients. And ideally, where we hope to see this go, is we can feed back to patients in real time why potentially a treatment might not be working. I think in a sense the village will be building like a virtual bridge between the hospital and the lab. So practically what this allows us to do is it allows us to have someone on site, a researcher, who's engaging the research lab which is here with the patients that are treated just across the hall. And that's something that's actually quite different because the majority of my time is spent looking after patients, the majority of the scientist's time is spent working on that tissue in the lab. And to be able to have someone to integrate those two stories is key to making this translational research work, which is what we're really passionate about doing. What's really exciting about this is that it's going to be analysing the samples in real time while oncologists like Belinda are following the progression of the um, patients in the, in the clinic. So this is really exciting and we're hoping to find new treatments for these patients. I think the main difference is that we're really getting much better at understanding that having the patient involved in research at the time that we're doing research is probably the most important thing. And I would say the biggest difference between 10 years ago and now in my practice is 10 years ago I was asking patients to be part of research. Today patients are asking me to be part of research and that's probably the biggest thing. At the moment what we would be able to do and especially with the support of Love Your Sister is to be able to apply this cutting edge technology to patient samples because a lot of patients are willing to give the biopsies and so in 10 years time maybe we will be able to take this knowledge from the lab to the hospital again and inform clinicians on what treatments should be performed on these patients. So it would be what we call personalised medicine where we could give the right drug to the right patient. You know, the ultimate panacea here is to say that, you know, let's make cancer history, um, but we've got to be realistic and I think we've got many steps to go. Um, preventing cancer is obviously the key, but there's a lot we can do to help patients who are already diagnosed with breast cancer and I guess that's the concentration of the research that I do. And so the village would be giving us that potential to be able to have someone doing this full time. And when you can do it full time, it's got a lot more capacity than when you're just picking Wednesday, for example, one day a week. Because cancer patients don't come in just one day a week and problems don't just happen between nine and five on Wednesdays. And so that's what this money is being able to do. So thanks. We really appreciate it.